Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how I skybase in Fortnite and how you can do the same pretty easily. Uh, I posted a lot of unedited gameplay before to show my strategy, but I thought some VOD review style commentary might be even more helpful. So I'm just gonna be explaining what I'm thinking as I'm doing it here in this in this game where I got a skybase win. So starting out, you know, I'm landing at Grand Glacier because mostly because of the vault. Also because it's right by a forecast tower and a bunch of fishing spots, which are really all kind of the key components here. And so this is just some f sped up footage of me taking out the boss. It's nothing special, but I've been landing here just so that I can always get the exact kind of sniper that, that I want for this um, with all the right attachments. And doing this in pubs, my pubs matchmaking has been pretty easy this season. Usually I don't do like hot drops when I sky base, but almost nobody lands Glacier it seems in these lobbies and uh, so I can always can always get the vault pretty easily. Might have to fight a couple people, but I don't know, they haven't really been hasn't really been that hard. So I've been get the medallion, go into the vault, and I want a sniper with the big, you know, the four times sniper scope. So we're we're looking for the looking for checking if there's like a purple, but go in here. Yep. Going the getting the four times scope, the drum mag, so I have lots of shots. Angled foregrip, so I can quick scope, and don't need a don't need a suppressor or the muzzle grip. You don't need any of that stuff. Um, so continuing on here, my next step is to try to get the forecast tower and three stacks of heals from the fishing spots. And I'm just getting my gold up here. Just it's a pretty nice pretty nice way to do it. You don't really have to. Oh yeah, and at this point, I noticed that somebody's here, they have the NPC that scans you, so I'm like, I'm getting out of here. And funny enough, we're gonna keep running into this guy. Um, so, yeah, I just need to loop back around to get to the lake, I just don't wanna, don't wanna waste time fighting this guy, that's kind of a big... Like, you can fight people off spawn, but I really don't recommend... Um, yeah, so also here, I'm picking up, you definitely wanna have either the EMP grenades or the cluster clingers to blow up these fishing spots, spots which is like the way fastest strategy to uh, to fish. I, I started out this season actually fishing, but this is like way faster. This is, this is the way to do it. Um, and you'll see, I'll show you in a second, but I'm going right to the forecast tower here. Um, just gonna, it's crazy how, like it seems like this season nobody goes for the forecast towers in pubs, which is kind of funny, but. Uh, yeah, so putting that in there and then healing up because I took a bunch of damage because I didn't really fight the NPCs that intelligently. And then we're going to hop back in the car here, I think. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I'm getting pulled up on, um, getting pulled up on. So I drive away and I realize my mats are really low because I haven't been, you know, I've just been landing it. I wasn't really focusing on it. Um, so we're going to kind of keep moving up here, keep farming mats. And you can really, it's really easy to get your mats up. People kind of, I know people ask like, where do you land to get your mats? But you can really get mats anywhere. You just need to think about, there's metal all over the map. Metals, the, I mean, there's trees and rocks are all over the map. So that's just way easy to get max mats on those. But you just got to look for where metal is. Right south of that forecast tower, there's a little little depot or whatever that has a bunch of fences and cargo containers so you can get max metal really quickly there if you don't happen to get it off these bots i mean if you're doing this in pubs there's i at least for me this season so many bots and they give you mats but so here i noticed there's somebody in the building but i just want to get these fishing spots i just want my fish i don't care about this guy uh this is the same guy we saw earlier but um i think and we actually end up running into him later as well or again so I'm just disengaging. I really want the fish, but I don't want to fight this guy because it just wastes time. And I only have a sniper and a, well, I guess I have an AR, but don't really want to potentially die here because I don't want to waste time. So I'm just looping back around. I'm going to go get the, uh, I take damage from the, uh, take damage from the bike. I decided to just come here and get a little metal. And just going to keep farming. You want to have, you want to have max max materials as soon as possible so you can just check it off your list. But right here, I'm like, I just want this fish. I figure this guy is left by now, so I'm just looping back. And uh, he has left, so I'm just going to drive over here, pick up the fish, take a little bit of storm damage. Another big thing with uh, 
sky basing this season in the way my strategy, you know, and a lot of other people's sky base strategy, you're going to be spending a lot of time in storm, but you don't want to you don't want to take a bunch of storm damage early cuz then you'll get storm sickness later. So, uh, you know, only I'm only taking a little bit of storm damage here and I just need this fish. So, at this point, I have like four stacks of fish. I you, I only usually need 3. I mean, you you only need 3 and I only usually carry 3. Um, but I just kind of scrambled and uh, needed the fish. So here I have pretty much everything I need except a way to negate fall damage if I fall off the sky base. So I have forecast tower, I have the perfect sniper that I want, and I have the heals. And I think I'm good on mats now, or I think I kill a bot to get more. Or no, here, so... This is another... So basically I'm coming here to grab the, the grappler blade from the NPC. There's also a lot of metal here. I needed to get more metal, so I just kind of take a bunch of time here to to keep farming metal and just get my metal up here. So this is this is like my perfect loadout here. This is usually what I end up with: a sniper, a grapple blade, some small fries, and then two stacks of floppers. That's pretty ideal. Then you, you don't really have to you won't have to worry about not having enough heals at all. Like three full stacks of fish is is perfect. Um, and yeah, using those grenades to get the fishing spots, it's such a good strategy and it's definitely, definitely the way to do it. It just saves you a bunch of time. Uh, so getting my metal up here and yeah, we're just gonna kinda, kinda watch this out for a second. We, I see that there's people on the island with medallions, or at least there's one guy, I think another guy pulls up later. But I know they're on the island, so they're not like, they're not gonna see me. They're kinda, folk, they're fighting up there. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting getting the wood all the way to max, and then and then I'm set. And usually I kind of get everything I need. Yeah, so I just get the rest of the wood off this bot here. Um, yeah, so this is Storm Circle Five. This is when I need to start going into into zone to start building the sky base. So there's a point where the two circles intersect, um, and I try to build like in a straight line away from that, but. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I, I've been kind of testing out a new strategy where you can actually start building the sky base really early by reef and like have a lot of mats to spare at the end by refarming. But I might show a video about that later. But this is my like my like old current strategy. Um, so I did a little bit of refarming there just to just to help me out. But uh, yeah, so start building with these. I start building with these half edited stairs. And you can sprint a little bit to save time. I'm not doing, I'm not using my sprint that well, but. And then you need to just kind of balance how far away you build it from storm. So you don't want to build it so close that people see you, but you don't want to build it so far away that you waste all your mats and you run out of mats really quickly. Um, so yeah, just gonna keep sprinting here, keep running up with these ramps. And then when we get to the top, we switch over to the half edited floors just to make some distance. Um, so, and you can kind of, with forecast, it's so easy because you can, you can see where, you know, obviously you can see where the next zones are and that really helps you um, kind of plan ahead when you're in storm, trying to figure out where to come out of storm. So I'm gonna keep moving straight and you can see like, look at the mini map, look at where the two white circles intersect. That's kind of where I'm headed for. Um, and then, yeah, you can look at the minimap again to the north. That's where I need to go. So I know I could, if I had like a lot more mats and time, I could kind of, uh, start already heading north, but I'm just, I need to get out of zone here. So coming up here is where I make a little mistake, but, and yeah, so I'm getting close to the edge where people might start seeing the sky base. So I switch over to these half edited or low edited floors and you can kind of creep your way in if you look at some of my older videos, but I've been testing out this new new kind of building strategy where you can walk and then, yeah, see, that's the mistake I make. That was not intentional, but this kind of demonstrates how you can fall off and refarm a little bit. Normally you would do this way earlier when it's not too tick, but uh, I grab a little more wood and then I'm like, oh crap, I need to get back up on the sky base because it's going to turn to five tick pretty soon. And I thought I was gonna die here, but this actually worked out. But I think it might be useful to kind of show like how you can even make a bunch of mistakes and still get a get a nice sky base win. Um, so luckily I find this car so I can just zip back over to the sky base. And this also shows why the grapple blade is really useful because I was able to 
zip back up using the blades. Um, yeah, see, so you do that and you can slide a little bit, for some nice momentum. And it does, I think the blade does kind of slightly damage the, the build, but not enough to break it. Um, maybe it doesn't, I don't know, I thought it did. But anyway, I'm zipping back up here. It's gonna turn into five ticks soon. I didn't even realize at this point that it was a top three situation. I was just so focused on building. And now it's top two. I didn't even realize this until the end. I thought I was like, uh, I don't know. Usually I'm looking, but uh, yeah, so I'm pretty far, but you'll see how I can actually still, still kind of pull this off here. Um, so zipping back, like I was saying earlier, you have these half edited. You wanna do, I mean, if you wanna start building these quickly, you use the floors, but if you want to be careful so that people can't look up and it's harder for them to actually see the sky base and shoot it out, that's why these half edited uh, or low edited walls are really the move because especially with ARs this season being doing less damage and less accuracy at really far range, it's like pretty hard to shoot out these, these thin walls. Um, and you know, the goal is kind of, if you shoot, if somebody's like, you know, trying to shoot at your sky base, that's a perfect time to, to snipe them because they're standing still. But sometimes they're, sm then, you know, they're smart and they might be using, they might have some cover above their heads, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just shoot out the sky base and they sit still and there's nothing covering their heads and you can headshot snipe them as, as you can see in some of these, some of my previous videos, if you want to look back. But so yeah, I'm doing this, this kind of creep, <laughs> creeping, uh, building strategy here that I, I've kind of pulled from, uh, some pros who kind of do this kind of strategy in tournaments. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of, you can actually move faster, but I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna fall off. I haven't done this a lot yet. Usually I kind of creep a walk around. Um, okay, yeah, so I see this last guy and I wanna get in all the way, but I'm like, well, I could go for a snipe here. Um, so, and the storm isn't right on me yet, so you want to hopefully aim up a headshot. I did not get a headshot here. I thought I was high enough, but clearly not. And then I got a win. One guy left and I got the party hips going. So hopefully, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try to do more educational content in the future.